with this tutorial, I want to show you how to create this object in the middle, which could be used as a diagram and as separate elements for, for animations, for example, like that, where you would display each element on its own. It's actually pretty simple because you can go to insert, shapes, and inside of the shapes, you should have this type of circle, a circle hollow. If you click this circle, you press shift to make it equal, you will get something like that. You can adjust the width of this inside part, for example, to be similar to this design. I will put it in the middle, but how to get those divisions between them? You can go again to insert, shapes, and we can use little rectangles, and we can put the rectangles, make a narrow rectangle, and put it in the middle. Now it aligned perfectly in the middle. What we can do with this is just press Ctrl D, align it again in the same place, and just rotate it. After you've rotated it, you can again Ctrl D to duplicate this element, just put it again on top of each other, and try rotating while holding the shift. All right, I see I am a bit uh, too far to the right side, so I'll put it exactly in the middle, like this. Okay, and everything is now well aligned. In order to make the divisions, I'll select every shape I see here. I'll go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes, and I'll use the Subtract function, or if not, we can use the Fragment function. The Fragment function would like make separate elements out of everything you see here. In my case, the subtracting works here, but if you do not select it properly, for example, you select this first and then all the elements, the subtraction might look different. So if you are insecure of what to select first and what to select last, just select everything, merge shapes, fragment. Once everything is fragmented, you can simply take everything that you don't need and you will delete it. Well, in our case, we basically do not need anything besides the circle, but it would take just a couple of moments to delete everything. And what's amazing here that everything is separate. We have those little triangles here. We can use those triangles, but we don't have to. If you want to use triangles, just take any, any triangle, um, make something like that. I'll use the shift key and I'll just rotate it to the appropriate amount. Now, this looks a bit weird, right? But you can take this triangle, you can right click on it and you can select send to back. If you want to make everything perfectly equal, just select those two elements or click on the triangle, shift click on this element, shape fill, give it a consistent color like this orange, shape outline, no outline. Boom, and I've selected the first element. I can of course cover this triangle a little bit up so it doesn't get in the way. I can just press Ctrl D on the triangle, I can rotate it around and I can put it in the appropriate places. This is how I would go about making uh, this kind of diagram. I would send everything to back and I would just work with the colors, work with the additional elements. I would press Ctrl G to group this into one element, shape outline, no outline, shape fill, of course, depending on what colors we need. And we always have access to this little triangle. We can still take it. When we double click, we can rotate it a little bit around to make this a bit more clean. Let me group that and let's say that this is a ready slide where every information is already filled out. I would take everything, I would press Ctrl G and for example, if I would explain this part, I would maybe rotate it, then I would enlarge it like that and boom. And I would now explain this element. Then I would simply duplicate this element and if I would like to explain the yellow one, I would again rotate it to this part and I would place it like that. And the information, I would place the information here and I would go from slide one, two, three to all the slides around. If you have the newest PowerPoint versions like 2019 and the newer ones, you can always go to transitions, morph, and you would have beautiful rotations between them. Thank you for listening. And I hope this is a helpful tutorial for you to improve at PowerPoint.